This is the Tad Show. Let me bring you behind the scenes here and give you a little bit of a, I guess, a LT moment. Boys and girls, it's time to gather around the learning tree with your kind and caring teacher, Taz. He's so mean all the time. He's always so angry. He yells at everyone. Why? He's sharing his one-of-a-kind insider perspective of professional wrestling from inside the ring to broadcasting major events. It's all about me. It's me. Me, me, me. Be on your best behavior and make sure to ask lots of questions. Stop it. Shut up. Everybody just shut up. It's the learning tree with Taz. You can't blame Mauro Ronaldo. It's not his fault. You can't blame the other announcers either. You, you can't. The way this show ended and that they did not verbally promote the pay-per-view the right way and punch. I talk about that at Hump Day promos all the time. You got to punch the promo at the end. Well, the key for an announcer is punching the finish of a go-home show to, to you know, get us as an audience to watch the pay-per-view. This is... I, a fault of timing of the show and post-production. This is a post-produced show. I did this. Michael Cole and I did this for years, SmackDown. We did the show for, for years, as you guys know. And there would be many, many a times we are calling the show live to tape, which means we're doing it live, but it's being taped. That's called live to tape. Just like... Um, I'll give you an example, like these late night TV shows, I don't know, like Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Gimmick, Schneebus Furnham, all these shows, they're live to tape. They're not live live. They're live to tape. So that means they shoot it like it's going to be straight live with hopes of not a lot of edits, and we're going to air it as we shoot it. You can confirm with Video Brian if I'm correct on that, and I believe that's the proper... No, yeah, you're saying it's not, it's not broadcast as it's being... Is this Video Brian talking to you? Me. I, I don't care what you think. I want to know. He said about. yes, it is. Okay, so please, uh, are you in the TV business? No. Well, sorry. Are you in the TV business? I have a camera in front of me. I know you do. Not now. Before <laughs> you would not stop it. You have a monitor and a camera. I know now you're in the TV business. But do you have experience besides the past month? No. I do. Video Brian does too. That's why I want to hear him, not you. I don't care what you say. I don't mean that negatively. Okay. Dude, I'm telling you. I, the, the, that, that. Don't poke the bear that much. I don't like when you whisper. I don't like it. I don't like when people whisper. I whisper. I don't want anyone else whispering. Just me. It's my show. The Taz Show. You're not allowed to whisper. It's a rule. Now It's a new rule now. I changed the rule. <laughs> the rule was that you couldn't whisper after I whisper. Now you can't whisper ever. Okay. Good. post produce show. You have the opportunity to go in and have your announced talent do anything you want them to do. What's the most important thing about the go-home show to a pay-per-view? Punching the pay-per-view. At the very end, the last thing we should hear about is sold on whatever storyline you're selling us that you feel we that we are going to grab to buy or watch the pay-per-view or buy your network. And that was gone. It was just an abrupt ending.